Hey there, welcome back and thank you for watching. I'm going to do something in this video I've been waiting to do a very long time, and that is lift capacity test in terms of pounds. So I'm going to do the uh, front end loader on the Massey GC1723. Then I'm going to do the rear three-point arm lift test. And then if there's any uh, bleed down on that three-point when it's in the locked position, uh, over time, you know, however long it takes me to publish this video, uh, I'm going to show that at the end of the video as well. So stick around. All right, so first up, happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. I'm out here enjoying this beautiful day uh, in America, basically because of you. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for all that you do. Uh, and I hope you enjoy this video too. Uh, so let's get into the conditions here. I'll talk a little bit about the specs on the Massey, uh, then we'll go from, uh, go from there. Uh, so this is a 2021 model. I have the FL1805 loader, and I have the SSQA or quick uh, attach adapter on that, uh, the front of that FL1805 loader. Uh, so the, the bucket on that attached to that is uh, spec for 132 pounds. I weighed it at 140 pounds uh, a while back. Uh, so keep all those numbers in mind. I'll keep some tallies on the screen here as we go along. Uh, now on the uh, lift capacity, it's rated at the pivot pin. So that's the point where the loader arms attach to what they call the tool carrier, which is the SSQA adapter. Uh, and that is rated at 922 pounds at full lift height, which is 74 inches. So just to be clear up front, I'm not testing at that, right? Uh, because very, very, first of all, I would never put 922 pounds on this thing at full lift height. Even with good ballast on flat ground, you know, a gust of wind would probably tip you over. Um, so the, I think the more common scenario is lifting very, you know, a whole lot of weight, but just, you know, kind of getting it a little bit off the ground just to get it from point A to point B. So that's sort of the range I'm going to be operating in uh, for this uh, test. So you take that 922 pounds at full lift height, just keep that in, in mind. So let me show you now the video of the test that I did uh, with the crane scale. So I wrapped the uh, toe strap around the bucket. So I wasn't quite at the pivot pin from the lift capacity standpoint, but I was pretty close, a little forward of that pin. And I did it in two conditions. So inside of the bucket, the very first lift, um, I had four uh, retaining wall blocks in there and they each weigh in. I just weighed them at 20, uh, let me get this. Yeah, 22 pounds each. So I had 88 pounds of blocks in that bucket. And I'll tell you why I did that here in a minute. So I had them in the bucket and I tried to, you know, attempted the lift. So I wasn't at, you know, full lift height. I wasn't on the ground level. I was, I don't know, maybe a couple feet off the ground uh, with the loader arms. And it bounced around a little bit, but I came in around 871, 874 pounds. That's what I was lifting uh, per the crane scale. But then I said, well, you know, that also counts the weight of whatever's in the bucket and the weight of the bucket, right? If, if you're going versus the spec, you got to sort of subtract those out of it as well. Let me confirm that that's true. So I pulled all four of those blocks out of the bucket and repeat it. Didn't move the tractor or nothing. I just pulled the blocks out and repeated the lift and I got about 975. So about 975 pounds of lift and that was just with the 140 pound bucket. So if you subtract that 140 pound bucket out, it was about 1,115 pounds of lift and that was a little bit forward of the pivot pin on the bucket it was, I'm not even counting the weight of the tool carrier or the SSQA adapter, which is probably 30 pounds maybe. I'm not, not really sure how much that, that whole uh, thing weighs, uh, but not even counting that. So I'm well within spec, uh, probably a little above spec. And I say that because a while back I tested my hydraulic pressure. And if you remember that video, I'll show you the clip here. That came in somewhere around 1950, 2000, maybe 2050 PSI. So I was just a little bit above the spec of 1920 PSI on the tractor. And I haven't adjusted anything. That's just how it was from the factory. Uh, so that's what I got on the front end. I'm pretty happy with that. And that seems to kind of match what I've seen out of the tractor so far, just kind of 
performance wise and definitely like when I compared it to the BX when we lifted the log with the uh, pallet forks, uh, I think that's in line with you know what I was sort of seeing there. Oh man, I just had a distraction here. Uh, so before I get to the three point, I, was, I heard a woodpecker and I turned around and look, the dang woodpecker is pecking on the corners of my shed. Ah, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. If you have a solution, let me know. But man, that's ridiculous. Uh, okay, so and that's pressure treated wood too. So it shouldn't be like insects or anything in there. I don't know why he's doing that. Uh, there's plenty of trees out here. Uh, okay, let me get back on track. Uh, so for the three point, boy, this was difficult. It was difficult to get, uh, you know, without putting like a screw hook in the ground. I guess I could have done that. Um, uh, you know, the whole test really was set up based on this you know, giant poplar uh, log I had out there, which I knew I couldn't lift. Um, so, you know, I got it as low as I could uh, on the three point, and then I kept the quick hitch on for the test because I don't want to be twisting the arms or breaking my arm off or, you know, doing, you know, any damage. I want to keep those, you know, kind of an even test. Uh, so the first thing I did was just wrap the chain around uh, the top hook and pull. And I was kind of surprised. I only got um, 130 pounds approximately of pull up there. And I still haven't really wrapped my head around why that is. Uh, but I'm sure someone on this video is going to uh, straighten me out on that. Uh, but anyway, so I said, okay, I need to get down near the, the lift arms because the rating on this rear end is 1,191 pounds at the pivot. But all your lifting happens 23, 24 inches behind that at the end of the three-point arms. And that's rated at 661 pounds. And if I got those numbers wrong, I'll put the correction up in the screen here, but I'm pre pretty sure that's right. So I'm lifting about three and a half inches behind that because I have the quick hitch attached. If I had a draw bar, I would have you know, measured with that. But that's what I got and that's what I measured with. So I hooked up the crane scale and keep in mind the digging iron that I used to sort of connect to and wrap the chain around, that weighed 18 pounds. The chain was probably two pounds. There's 20 pounds there. And then the quick hitch itself weighs in at 37 pounds. So the max number, and I'll show you, you know, I did a couple attempts here, but about the max number I saw on the lift was 381 pounds. So if you add in the, the weight of the quick hitch and that digging iron, it's really 438 pounds. So I was getting 438 pounds versus a sp at th three and a half inches behind the tip of the three point arms versus a spec at that point at the tip of the three-point arms of 661. So well below spec, but I was also further behind. And I'm still kind of questioning that that lift number, whether I really had that configured fairly correctly. Um, I'm going to think about that a little bit because uh, I've got the uh, ballast box on this thing and it lifts that thing no problem. And that thing's got uh, close to 400 pounds in it. Uh, so I, I mean, maybe I'm just right at the limit. I, I don't know, but uh, yeah, so I mean, that, that's kind of what I was measuring on the three point. Okay, so then I've parked the tractor and I have the tractor, uh, the three point lifted all the way up. Well, I actually have the mower deck, of course, up too. So I have the mower deck in the mechanical lock position. And then I have the three point uh, drop speed knob in the lock position. So I put the ruler out and I measured the height. I'll show you that now. And what I'm going to do, I guess I've, maybe I'll narrate over it or just, or just show some text here. Uh, I'll give you the number of hours and then the drop, if there was any, uh, leak down on that over a period of time. All right, so that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you've done any similar testing like this with your tractor, uh, I'd love to you know, see it or you know, post in the comments. Let me know. Uh, what you found out. So thanks for watching. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one.